Okay, welcome to Car Design Academy's uh, Rendering Skills course, Intermediate Level, uh, focused on digital media. Uh, so in today's demo, I'm going to go ahead and work in real time again. Um, and I'm going to show you another uh, amazing opportunity that presents itself in Sketchbook Pro using the Symmetry tool, and that is uh, designing wheels. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the Symmetry uh, menu which is that little icon at the center of the top uh, toolbar. And as you can see, I have uh, my, my center line uh, from when we did the uh, front end sketch demo. But as you can see, there's a couple other icons there. Um, so <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick this third one from the left. So the second one is, is a horizontal symmetry. If I turn those both on, I get, I get like sort of a four-sided uh, symmetry. Uh, but what I really want to do is, is like a, a, a multi-axis symmetry. So uh, let, let's say we want to do a five spoke wheel. So you can see there's a slider bar at the very top of the uh, menu here. And it's set to six currently. I'm going to change that to a five. So you can see now I have five axes coming from the uh, center point. Now I, I can also grab that center point and I can move that around uh, anywhere I need to go. So. I'm just going to leave it here at the center, and I'm going to draw a, a sports car wheel. So uh, it's going to be a five-spoke design. It's going to be a fairly uh, you know, lightweight kind of wheel. So uh, now with 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 uh, five-axis symmetry, as you can see, I'm able to focus on just one uh, one spoke or one one area of of the wheel. And as you can see, I'm able to actually create a five-spoke pattern quite, quite quickly and easily. It's pretty amazing. And then uh, what I can do is uh, even, even just drawing by hand a circle. Um, as you can see, it's not, it's not quite circular. So uh, what I can do is just temporarily turn off symmetry. So I'll, I'll back that up and uh, add a layer. I'm gonna add a layer, I'm gonna turn off the symmetry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, use uh, the circle tool. I'm gonna draw a, uh, a circle using the pencil tool. So there's a circular, circular line I can use as a guide and I can just move that um, over to where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna try to eyeball it as best I can. It's a little bit of trial and error. But... I'm just going to move it over a little bit here. Okay, so we're done. Uh, so now I'm going to go back to my spoke layer. I'm going to turn on my uh, five axis symmetry again, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep on going. So having having the perfect circle there kind of helped me to just make sure that I that I had um, uh, that I had something that was 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 uh, circular. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep keep sketching that. And I'm just going to start to add some some dimension to those spokes. So I want the I want the middle part of the spoke to actually be quite quite slim. And then maybe you have your bolt pattern on the ends there. The spoke's going to have a little bit of a thickness to it. And so is the rim section. I 
I think this five axis symmetry is an amazing, amazing tool. We can make it five axis, we can make it seven axis, 20 axis, whatever you want. But in my opinion, a nice sports car wheel tends to have five spokes. That's sort of the classic uh, sports car uh, wheel shape. So we'll keep it kind of loose. Um, what's great about this five axis tool is now I can, I can actually move the, uh, move the center point over to another part of the page and I can do another wheel proposal. So I'm gonna do a very different type of wheel, maybe something a bit more directional. Oops. Try that again. Oh yeah, there is a, a little lock symbol there, so I can lock it down, so I don't accidentally. Um... I'm just gonna sort of hand draw the circle this time. This time I'm gonna try something a bit more directional. more angular maybe. Again, drawing a bit of, a bit of material thickness the spokes and then maybe putting a, a bolt in there. Okay, I'm going to hit the lock symbol. I'm going to move the, the uh, the guide, the five axis guide over to another part of the page. And I'm gonna do another proposal. I'm gonna try to get back to, to this sort of fairly rounded uh, shape because so I think it's going to fit my, my sort of sexy sports car uh, image but it's also going to be directional One side of the spoke is going to be a little bit stiffer for structural, uh, for a more structural quality. Okay, so hit the unlock again. And what if I wanted to do more of an off-road rugged design? Hmm. And perhaps, um, let's lock it down here.
So here I might be showing a bit more of the tire. And the tread. So the so in this in this proposal the the uh, the tire has these tread blocks that actually become a continuation of the spoke pattern. And then let's try it again with a, a more a more directional design. So the spoke pattern actually continues on into the tire tread. Then maybe there's additional tread blocks out here. I'm beginning to really like this one. So you can see, you can get quite intricate with these with these wheels. Maybe I go in to to my original wheel hunter here, and I try to get more of that more of that sculptural quality. So I'll just move my axis back to the center here, and I'm going to try to make it as aligned as possible. Let's give it a more dynamic, sculpted character. Maybe here I'll, I'll indicate a tire as well. As you can see on a, on a sports car, the tire profile is going to be much, uh, much slimmer. Okay, so what if we wanted to go ahead and render one of these? 